good evening students so i hope you all are well so today uh, we will learn about the taste of protein earlier you have learned already about the taste of sugar which is the form of carbohydrate and also the taste of starch which is also the another form of carbohydrate so today we will learn about the taste of protein basically to get better result you can take the food samples which are maximum which have actually which have maximum amount of protein so today i have show i will show you the taste of protein with two types of food samples like pulse or pulses you can take any kind of pulses because in which uh, basically in the pulses the amount of protein is more and you can also take bean dust in which also protein amount is more so i have taken here these two types of food samples so you can take other type of or another type of food samples in which proteins amounts are more so let's come to the main point let's see so to taste of protein actually this is the activity number 3 from chapter 2 first it was uh, starch taste of starch then the taste of uh, uh, another form of carbohydrate like sugar and this is totally different it is not the carbohydrate it is the another component of food uh, food items or foods that is called protein so taste of protein so first of all to taste of protein what we have required what we have to prepare first copper sulfate solution you have to prepare so it can be prepared by dissolving 2 g of copper sulfate in 100 ml of water so in lab easily we will get copper sulfate so if you have to take 2 g with a spoon that is called spatula so with that you have to take and copper sulfate 2 g you will take in a test tube and you have to add 100 ml ml of water with it to get or to prepare copper sulfate solution so the color of copper sulfate solution it will be blue blue color light blue or sometimes it uh, looks like deep blue so copper sulfate solution its color is blue so that is uh, another name is there uh, blue vitriol you can say another name of copper sulfate solution so now one more type of solution you have prepared that is called caustic soda solution caustic soda solution so how you can prepare it 10 g of caustic soda you have to dissolve in again in 100 ml of water so you have to take one test tube they are you will take 10 g of caustic soda with spatula that is called spoon in lab so with it you have to add 100 ml of water and then you have you will get the required solution of caustic soda so these two liquids or solutions basically you have required to taste the protein with the different food samples with another thing you can do it that is called diluted nitric acid Di with diluted nitric acid you can also taste the protein so these two things required together and this is for another experiment we will require so all the things we will see today in the experiment so first the process is like that you have to take the small quantity of food sample in a test tube if it is solid if the food sample is solid make a paste of it or powder it you have to make a paste of it or you have to make it powder like that smash it by smashing you have to make it powder or paste it then add some water with it and shake it well in a test tube you have to take uh, that particular smashed or uh, powdered uh, uh, food sample in the test tube then you have to add water with it and you have to shake it well then come to the next main topic so in the experiment see that food sample you have to take in a glass tube inside a glass tube then i have taken here bean dust i have taken here bean dust so i have been, so bean dust you can take it so uh, at your home you have the bean so you can uh, make the dust with that with it then you have to add few drops of water to it using a dropper with a dropper you can add few drops of water inside the test tube then 
First, you have to add two drops of copper sulfate solution, which you have already prepared earlier. Copper sulfate solution, blue color. So that copper sulfate solution, uh, you have to add two drops with that food sample. Then afterwards, you have to add few drops of basically ten drops. You can say if you will not get the desired result, then you can add more. So you have to add few drops of caustic soda solution with that. After adding these things, you have to shake it well. Then you have to see observation will be like that. The color changes into purple or violet. Basically, violet or purple. So very uh, close. These colors are like that. So violet or purple. If any type of color changes, if you will observe, then you, have, you can make it confirm that it shows the presence of protein. It shows the presence of protein. Next another. With other or another food sample, we can do the test. But this time we will not use this copper sulfate solution or this uh, caustic soda solution. So here we will use that diluted nitric acid. So you have to take or you can take some boiled dal or pulse. You can say in a test tube and add dilute nitric acid with it. So already mentioned what is called dilute and what is called concentrated in earlier videos. So you have to add dilute nitric acid with it and then heat it. Means heat the entire things after adding nitric acid. Then if the color changes into yellow or light yellow, that color changes into yellow light yellow means it shows the presence of less protein. It shows the presence of less protein. So observe these things carefully. Uh, our positive test result um, to know if protein was present, what would actually occur. All right, the first step is you need to add one pipette full of sodium hydroxide. Now it's really important because you've got to add two reagents in this case, that you make sure you get one of each bottle. They are labeled sodium hydroxide. The other reagent is copper sulfate, okay? So make sure that you that they are in separate trays, make sure you get one of each. When you do the protein test, it's important that you add these in the correct order, okay? And the first step is you add one pipette full of the sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a um, hazardous chemical, so make sure you are careful with that, that you play, as I did there, you place it inside and then squeeze. You don't want it getting onto your fingers. And with any time you're using chemicals, what would be the other safety gear you guys should wear? Goggles. Yeah, goggles. Good. I've added the sodium hydroxide. There is another part to it. You need to give it a bit of a shake. Okay, it's important that you agitate it between each um, addition of reagents. And then you add the second reagent, and this is important to add it in this order. The second reagent is copper sulfate. You guys have seen this before. It's that blue solution. But you only need about three or four drops of this. So the sodium hydroxide, one pipette full, mix, then three to four drops. I might do a little bit more because I've got quite a lot of the copper sulfate, and then give it a mix. Can everyone see the colour change that's occurring? Yeah. I might add. All right, what colour is it gone? Purple. Purple. Now that, that protein solution is quite thick, so it's not mixing evenly, but it is mixing. When you add the copper sulphate solution to some other things, it'll automatically go blue because the copper sulphate's blue. Okay? If protein is present, though, it will go either... Now, this is because this is a strong solution, it has gone quite purple. However, it can go a, quite a dark blue. All right, so I'll just show the copper sulfate again. All right, can everyone see the color of the copper sulfate? And you guys have used that before. That with the copper sulfate, if it, it won't, if it stays that sort of shade blue, it hasn't got protein. It can go a really deep shade of blue, or the purple. So that blue, deep blue to a purple, is the indicator of a positive test result for protein. Okay, students. So I hope you all have understood very well with that video also that already added in my video so i hope you all have understand well 
so in my next video you will get to know about the taste of fat which is very easy so wait for my next class thank you visit again